What's going on champs and champs? It's, it's Fire Monkey here and recently Epic Games has been in you know a lot of weird publicity and a lot of just weird oddities going on you know a lot of people having their own opinions about everything and just a lot of people feeling off about the game's current like potential and where it's headed towards the future however it appears that Epic Games is going to continue making Fortnite even more like Roblox because in the news feed for people who are in Japan they recently got an interesting little pop-up. As you guys know there's been a lot of items that have been leaked in Fortnite's past and a lot of items that people genuinely want and one of the things a lot of people fear is an item they want becoming exclusive something that is going to be there where it's like oh hey you can only get this if you buy this specific phone or buy this specific thing but even with exclusives it's easier to get those than it is to get something that is completely region locked to being in a specific place and that is what is happening here so earlier in the news feed we actually got this pop-up which you know looks pretty interesting it shows the actual v box icons and then it shows like official cards and everything but what it's basically saying here is that if you purchase and redeem a V-Bucks card in Japan between October 1st and October 31st, you will receive the Sunfall Scythe pickaxe entirely for free as a little bit of like a bonus, right? Now a lot of people are like, oh, just use a VPN, do this or do that. However, they don't realize that this requires you actually getting a Japan V-Bucks physical card. It doesn't mean you can just purchase V-Bucks in game, right? It's similar to how Roblox does it for anyone who doesn't know. They have these whole entire system set up for Roblox where it's like, oh, if you go ahead and for example, purchase a V-Bucks card from um, I don't even know, you know, you go to one of the platforms or whatever that is selling V-Bucks cards, you buy one from Target, you get a special item. But they also have it set up in Roblox where it's like if you buy a Target card for $50, you get a more exclusive item, right? They have that whole entire system going on for Roblox, and I feel like what Epic Games is doing here isn't just, you know, giving away a free item for people who buy a V-Bucks card in Japan, but instead they're using Japan as a testing ground for the generalized, you know, global version of Fortnite later down the line. Because, you know, if they can test with a smaller group population, population and stuff to figure out if this is something that is profitable for them and makes them a decent amount of money, they could in the future release this everywhere else as a way to continue giving little V-Bucks, uh, you know, like prizes, like a actual pickaxe or whatever else, out that are, you know, just unreleased items that are currently in the void, while also, you know, still making some extra money from people wanting to purchase a V-Bucks card monthly just for whatever the bonuses are. And keep in mind, we also have two more pickaxes that follow the exact same scythe design as the one I just showed you, being the Midnight Scythe and the Dawning Scythe, and currently a speculation between me and Tater, you know, one of the friends you guys have seen on the channel multiple times before, is that they might release these over the next few months in Japan or in different regions and everything to test if selling rewards as, you know, V-Buck card prizes ends up being a very nice thing, you know, ends up being something that it will, you know, be successful for them. I'm glad I bought that checkpoint because, oh boy, that just happened. But, you know, it would be something that would be successful and would make them more money, and they could even expand on it further after doing these centralized, you know, tests in specific regions. Now, of course, there are going to be a lot of people out there trying to find tricks and whatever else to actually get the pickaxe for free, but it does beg the generalized question of, is this a good thing? Should they continue going through with this? And should this be something that we actually support and stuff? Because as we know, Epic Games has been making a lot of changes to their company, you know, such as layoffs and, you know, such as increasing the prices of V-Bucks, with one entire goal of making their game more profitable, right? They apparently, you know, spend more money than they make yearly, and they want to make it profitable where they're able to actually do the opposite, you know, spend less money than they make yearly in order to continue growing as this whole entire quote unquote metaverse. And it leads the whole entire question of what does the future of Fortnite look like and how are we going to see monetary changes happening, you know, going forwards. And I feel like this one right here is going to be the main monetary change we're going to continue seeing going forwards where they try different things such as releasing these specific V-Buck cards where it's like if you buy this one at this specific price, you'll be able to actually get yourself a free bonus item, whether it's a pickaxe, a back bling, or even in the future if they go the Roblox route of being like, oh, you can get like a $50 uh, card for a better prize or something. We could even see entire skins being locked behind this whole entire metaverse VR card buy, or I guess, you know, V-Bucks card buying system. And it really is just something that I thought I would talk about and mention to you guys, because even though it's something that I personally can't, you know, interest myself in, you know, purchasing a V-Bucks card that is restricted to Japan only for the sole purpose of actually getting an item, it is still something at the end of the day that sits there and is like, this could be a big change and could be a big future point for Fortnite that really just evolves everything over time and makes it one of their more profitable things because there's going to be people out there who want to collect all the items in the game and one thing they're going to do to collect those items is going out of their way to find a way to get a Japan V-Bucks card or whatever else V-Bucks card that includes a virtual item so that they can have those exclusive items that not everyone else has you know it's like one of the things that I really really could see them doing more and more in the future and I really suspect that what they're doing right 
right now with Japan only is a way of testing it, you know, like a global, or I guess not a global test, but a centralized controlled test where they do it with one specific region, see if it increases the cost of people buying D-Bucks or whatever else and redeeming them. And if it works there, they could continue evolving it over time and releasing it in other places, similar to how like Netflix, for example, when they stopped the whole password sharing stuff, they actually did it in small regions first to test it there, and then they brought it out everywhere else later down the line. I would of course love to hear everyone's opinions about this whole entire situation in the comments down below. What do you think about them bundling items with V-Buck cards? Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think this is something that you don't really care about? Or do you wish that they would have just done this globally everywhere instead of making a pickaxe that you know some people genuinely wanted locked behind, oh, you have to have a Japan specific V-Bucks card and it has to be physical. So there's no way to actually really get it online unless you find someone who lives in Japan and has access to those cards who is willing to sell you one probably for an upsold price where you're probably spending a little bit more than the normal V-Bucks price for it. But with that said, my name is Fire Monkey. I hope champs and jammies enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more of me, check out my other channel, which will be actually right below my webcam as you're seeing all of this. And I'll catch you guys a little bit later with another upload. Peace out.